Hi, I'm Dan Ligani with Silver Solutions, the home-related services company for families with aging parents. On today's episode of AgeWise, we tackle a really interesting subject. In fact, we're speaking to a guy that knows a lot about tackling and touchdowns. Our guest is Bruce Arians, the head coach of the Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bruce, thanks so much for joining us on AgeWise today. It's my pleasure. Thank you. So one of the things that really caught our attention, like 100 million other people across America, we see you after the Super Bowl, minutes later with the Lombardi Trophy, you thank your wife, and then you immediately call out to your 95-year-old mom who is in the stands. Tell us what that was like for you. Yeah, it was amazing. You know, I, I owe everything to the Glazier family. For, for My mom doesn't travel much anymore, but they sent a plane big enough to get her on it and uh, got her and my brothers and sisters down here for the game. And uh she had an absolute blast, and it, it meant the world to me to have her in the stands and, and see us win that Super Bowl. And where is she? You grew up in Pennsylvania, is that right? Is she still there? Yeah, she's still in Hanover, Pennsylvania. I grew up in York, which is right next town over. And uh, But she's still there. She's still in her apartment with the, her caregiver, and uh, she's having a blast. She's, she's really hoping bingo starts again soon because she, she's missed it for a year. The coolest thing, and a lot of people don't realize this, but you're living it with your mom— People over 85 is the fastest growing segment of the population in the U.S. And as a as a child, sometimes what's really interesting to watch is when we evolve from just being a child into a, a caregiver and our relationship changes slightly with our mom or dad. Has that started to happen with you? And what's it like in terms of uh, your, your mom at this point? Yeah, I mean, my, my uh, two brothers and my sister live real, real close. My, my youngest brother stops in every single day, checks on her. And, uh, and thank God for Debbie. Debbie's there every day with her uh, around the clock. And, uh, yeah, and my sister's up every weekend just about. And my, and my older brother runs all her fi- uh, finances and things like that. And so it's, a, it's a, everything. They, they take such great care of her. I'm obviously pretty far away, but uh, I check on her every, every week. The toughest part for a lot of family members is when you have to tackle the issues like driving and, and where mom's going to live and whether she needs help. How did those conversations go, whether it was with you or your siblings and your mom? Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, we had a real scare about, oh gosh, it's been about seven years ago where she was in the hospital and think she was coming out. And, um, you know, it was really just a bladder infection and some medicine that was causing some delusional stuff that was going on and she got cleaned up and you know we were actually cleaning out her apartment next thing you know say hey bro you better put you better put her furniture back she's coming home you know and uh so she uh she worked her tail off and rehab and and got back and um so yeah I, I, she was ready to give up the keys to the car you know um one one minor accident that's all it took thank god it was minor with uh, my mother-in-law it was a major accident and that's all it took for her but uh think uh, she lived through it but um yeah i mean it's so hard you know i've got friends whose um, father's 92 and drives constantly and uh, he's still sharp as a tack so there's going to come a time when those keys have to get and i think when you take those keys away that i think they lose a big part of their their self you know it's like i'm dependent now and uh it's crazy that when you lose those keys how dependent they do become well, you hit right on it. You know, the issue, we've done national surveys in the differences between how family members perceive age and, and how the older adults perceive age. The thing that's most important to the older adult is independence, and you're dead on. The car is a big issue. Um, and it'll only become a bigger issue, especially as we mentioned earlier, the adults over 85 are the fastest growing segment of the population. Um, I, I want to move on uh, in one second to your career, but one last thing. What did your mom, other than longevity, right? What did she instill in you that, that's helped you succeed in your chosen occupation? Oh uh, yeah, my mom, my mom and dad both worked jobs when we were young. You know, uh, we never wanted for everything. And I didn't realize at the time that, you know, they were putting us in private school as, as youngsters and they were mom's working in the factory. Dad's working in the factory seven days a week. And it was it was for us, you know, and uh, the the worth eth- eth- ethic that you have uh, is, is bonded to your name. Uh, you have your name, your honor and, uh, and your family and family is huge. We, you know, uh, our family is really, really tight. And, uh, but she just instilled, uh, that, that belief that you could do anything 
You just put your mind to it. Clearly, she did a pretty good job. This year kicked off in uh, fabulous fashion for you. Um, and, you know, w- w- what's so interesting is that you and Tom Brady were at the leading edge of what seemed to be sort of an older revolution in professional sports. Tom Brady at 43 winning the Super Bowl. Phil Mickelson at 50 winning a major championship in golf. Last weekend on Memorial Day, Helio Castro Nevis at 47 wins the Indy 500, the oldest person to do that. What's going on in your view with professional athletes at this point? Is it a fluke that the older guys are still doing well or is there something different in 2021? No, I think sports science is, sports science has evolved uh, unbelievable in the last 10 years. You know, the guys with had Achilles injuries, we career was over. Now they're back in six months. I mean, just the things that the medical profession, but the sports science uh, and what we've done, watching Alex Smith and his recovery from that horrific leg injury, uh, it just amazes me. And, uh, you know, I think you'll see guys, I think 30s, 40s now the old guy. Even at running back, you're going to see guys going into the late 30s like Adrian Peterson uh, that are going to be playing into the late 30s and uh, and have three or four or five contracts. You have been referred to several times now as the oldest coach in the NFL to win the Super Bowl. Um, what does age mean to you, especially being in a profession where even though it's getting older, youth still is, is a major part of it. So how do you view yourself in the context of all the young guys that you're around every day? Yeah, for me, only time I'm 68 when I look in the mirror. <laughs> Any other time, I think I'm still 45. And uh, I just I feel and, and, and try to live that way. And, and these guys keep you young. I mean, that's the beautiful, the beautiful thing about being around young people every single day. They, they keep you in the loop. Um, so it's just, it's just it's fabulous to, to stay at work and keep going. And uh, I tried retirement and failed twice. And I just love being around these guys. Well, you're in a pretty special place uh, and, and you've surrounded yourself clearly by veterans, not only with a 95 year old mom, who's very definitely a seasoned veteran. You got a 43 year old quarterback. How how effective are you in being able to influence some of the uh, some of the older folks around you, whether it's Tom Brady or your mom? Who do you have more success with? She's hard headed. She's doing her thing. I also have an 82 year old assistant coach, all that most people will ever know. And, and he's. He is as lively as anybody we have on our staff. You know, he, he stay, he's the first one in at 4.30 in the morning. And uh, you have that 26-year-old coaches that keep trying to beat him in the office, and they can't beat him in the office. Eventually, though, we all do get older. Do you think about the place where you live? Do you, are, are you in a home right now that you want to downsize from? Have you had conversations with your kids about the role you want them to play for you? Or is that still too far in the distance? Oh, gosh, 13, 14 years ago, we settled at a, at a house on a lake in Georgia. And um, it's, uh, that's that's forever home. And, uh, you know, we'll, we both plan on staying there till we can't stay there anymore. And uh, and it's all should be all taken care of for the kids to take it over. You've got such a, a great set of bookends in your life. Forty five years plus in football um, and, and a super successful 60 plus years in your personal life. When you think about where the influence has been greater, has your football experience made you a better person or has your personal richness made you a better football coach? I think the the, the person uh, that I was brought up to be, uh, I've always been a listener. Um, I studied to be a teacher, a guidance counselor. So all those things lent me to be a good football coach. And I was around great coaches when I was young. Um, when I first started coaching, you know, to be with Jimmy Sharp and Bear Bryant and and some of the people, Emery Ballard, and um, even when I got into the pros, Marty Schottenheimer, Jim Mora. Uh, so I had great mentors as I got going in this business and uh, can't thank them enough. So when you approach this season, is your mindset different? You're, you're known professionally. I think your phrase is uh, no risk it, no biscuit, meaning you got to take some chances. Um, how do you go in as a defending Super Bowl champion? Any different than how you started last year? Yeah, we, we have to go back to basics. And, uh, you know, next week we'll start our mini camp with everybody here. And uh, we'll be right back at the beginning, put it in the huddle, put it in the snap count like you never heard it before. I knew what that, you know what that word assume means. So we'll talk a little bit about that and uh, what our expectations are, uh, and then go to work. Anything that stands out other than trying to do it again that you're most excited about for the upcoming season? Yeah, we're very, I know other teams ever done it. It kept our coaching staff intact and kept all 20, top 28 players 
22 starters from the Super Bowl. No team's ever done it. So um, we should be able to pick up where we left off and, and get off to uh, a great start. But we have to embrace the challenge of going back to the beginning. I know you have two more years left on your contract. Tom Brady has one more year. Uh, how hard are you going to work to make certain that he's there for your last year? Actually, we, uh, we we extended his contract for two more years at the end of this season. So he's got two, I've got two, and we'll, we'll play it from there. Um, one last question and last thoughts on the, the role of family caregiver. Um, any advice that you'd share that, that you've seen in your own life that would be useful to other folks that have a, a mom or a dad or a loved one in their life that's getting older? I think it's always pay it forward. You know, they brought you into this world, and if, if you have to take care of them on the way out, uh, do it graciously, and uh, and hopefully, um, you know, there's not, the worst, I think the worst disease in the world is dementia. And uh, when when someone forgets who you are after all those time, it's the hardest thing in the world. And uh, so, yeah, you just have to be as gracious as you probably can and give them all the care you can. Really great words of wisdom. Have a wonderful season. Best of luck to all of you. Bruce Arians, the head coach of the Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Thanks for joining us today on AgeWise. If you like this episode, please share it with a friend. And if you want to see other episodes, just visit our website, Silver Solutions, and click on the video tab to see all of our back episodes. I'm Dan Lagani, and for those of us here at Silver Solutions who work hard every day to help your mom and dad live better longer, stay safe and be wise. 